First things first, in the temple, no shoes are allowed when you're walking around any of their sacred ground, as well as inside the temple. So, shoe racks are here that I'm very familiar with. Being a Muslim, we do the same at a mosque. So the first place we stop, right outside the temple, is the bow tree. And I want to ask him, what does this tree symbolize for you? Yeah, uh, this is the actually uh, the the main the main bow tree is uh, located in uh, India in Buddha Gaya. Uh, that is a place where the Lord Buddha became the enlightened. So this is a branch of that we have uh, brought one of a branch here, okay. and uh, as a symbolize the worship. And, and here, you, you meditate here? Meditate. Meditation. Yeah, we here. do the meditation and we do the prayers and offering uh, uh, lots of things yeah, like flowers and lamps. Yeah, so I see that. Yeah, we symbolize the, the enlightenment of the God. Beautiful. Something very important to keep in mind is whenever you do visit a temple, is you always have to remain facing the tree. You can never show your back to it as it's seen as a sign of disrespect. So the priests here are called Soamin Mohanze, which means respectable sir, and that's what I'm gonna attempt to call them throughout. If I make a mistake, no disrespect. Soamin Mohanze. Can you can you uh, tell me Soamin Mohanze, what do the candles mean? Aloke Labadin that the Lord Buddha uh, did the enlightenment and he gave us the bright side of our life uh, to symbolize that bright side so we just offer the lamps the flowers what do they mean the, the, the colorful flowers the the flowers symbolize the purity and the most colorful things and the most higher thing what we can offer so we offer the same things to Lord Buddha we just offer the flowers to the Moshi also beautiful thank you so much now we're gonna take a look at inside the temple. So, so tell us what happens here. Uh, this is a place where we worship Lord Buddha. Yes. This is a statue of Lord Buddha. We offer the lamps, the flowers, and some pure water. In the, the meal times, and we just offer the meals also. Uh, we just do the meditations and do the prayers and everything here. What the, the pictures here? Um, what what do, what do they mean? They are the, the main followers of Lord Buddha when he was alive and which follows his teaching. Now uh, we have photos of these followers and they have become the enlightenment also. Okay. Yeah. What I noticed when I was uh, sitting observing uh, the prayer um, is that people had the food and then they came here and offered prayers. I want to find out a little bit more about that. The first portion of the meal we offer to the Lord Buddha. Yes. That's the purify the first meal. And the second second portion of the meal we offer to the Swami Nuhansi. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, they have two meals per day in the morning and the lunch. Before we offered, they gave us some teachings and we do the prayers. They say knowledge is power, and that knowledge pretty much always comes through teachings, and those teachings come through books. So I want to ask, what kind of books are here? Uh, actually, these are the books which are related to various topics. You see, there's uh, some, some books specially written for the housewives, and uh, some of the books especially written for the gents. It's about the way how you can live in a good life and how you purify your soul and uh, some of the books about the how to meditations how to do the meditation thank you so much thank you for your time and thank you for everything you've done everything you've done for your community uh, here in, in Dubai you know this year is the year of tolerance in the UAE and it's important that we share your story with people and let them know that you're here uh, everyone's smiling so I see everyone's happy I wish you a blessed journey and uh, hope to see you again, inshallah. I hope to see you, inshallah. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we are, a look inside the Buddhist temple in Dubai. This year in the UAE is the year of tolerance. A year of bringing all these stories to light and connecting everybody in ways that highlights the similarities between us, not the differences. And it is only when we open ourselves up and take a look inside these special places that we truly understand that. Much love and God bless you all.